Welcome back to another garage slash yard sale video game pickups. Now, I got a lot of things to go over once again today. I still got to finish up all the pickups I got from that one huge pickup from my friend. And I also have other games that I got during the week. So let's go complete this pickups for all the games at least. Because next week I still got to let you know all the consoles I got from my friend. But uh, let's uh, start right with the stuff I got from him. Alright, so to th this week's pretty much all the Sega Genesis stuff. Now, exception to this, the, the first couple things I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show footage of because they're they're either uh, just boxes only or they're actual like items that I can't show. So, now the first thing is, last week I forgot to show this when I went over Super Nintendo games, the Game Genie for the Super Nintendo. These are pretty cool. If you ever find these, you know, try to get them if you can. You know, it's, it's easy to hassle, especially the like, original Game Genie. So I got the Super Nintendo version, and I also have the Sega Game Genie as well. So these are pretty cool, like I said. So if you find these, definitely go get these. Now, these uh, couple boxes are all empty, but they're all Sega Genesis boxes. So I'm like, ah, I, I guess I'll take it. It's part of the whole collection. I'm not going to let him keep boxes that are empty for no reason. So we got NFL Football 94. So, I mean, this is not... This is not a great game whatsoever, but I mean, you know, if I find the game, I'll get it. Actually, I think I have NFL Football 94 loose, so I might be able to fill that in later. Uh, we got Taz and Escape from Mars. Now, I definitely have this with the manual, so I just got to look for that and just put it in here. And we got Mortal Kombat 3. So, yeah, remember, these are only boxes that he gave me in his uh, little bundle that he gave me. Uh, we got the Lion King. So another box. They're all great shape, the boxes at least. The only problem is he didn't give any manuals or anything. And that's pretty much the theme for everything. For some reason, all the Sega Genesis stuff, like, he took all the manuals out and then, like, he left it somewhere and he accidentally threw it out, I guess. So none of these are going to have manuals. So moving right along, uh, we have Desert Demolition as a loose card. So these are, you know, I'm going to go over a couple loose cards we have. Now this game was, it was, it was decent back in the day, you know, it, it was pretty cool. You know, I was into like Looney Tunes, stuff like that, so like that's why I did play it a little bit, but it, it wasn't the best game in the world. I'm, I'm not a huge fan. I know some people like like Desert Demolition, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But uh, let me know in the comments down below if you do like it. If you don't like it, let me know. Uh, the next game I'm actually a pretty good fan of is uh, Krusty Super Fun House. Now, I, I don't know. I, I, like, I like a lot of the Simpsons games. I guess like I was a huge Simpsons fanboy back in the day. So like anything that had to do with Simpsons like automatically like was fun even though sometimes the games are like really really buggy and some of them are really really hard as well like you'll die pretty easily and there's like no restarts or anything but if you ever get a chance to definitely try out this game it's not too bad I mean this is a he gave it to me in good shape the only thing is once again no box no manual but you know I'm sure I could find that eventually so and the next one is Sonic 3D Blast now I have every Sonic game already and I have boxes for all of them. I have a box of Sonic 3D Blast, but I did not have Sonic 3D Blast. So it was actually pretty cool that it was in this pickup. So now I have a complete set for Sonic 3D Blast. And I believe I have all the Sonics, like games. So that's that's good. I have every Sonic game box and manual for Sega Genesis, which is really good. So Sonic 3D Blast. All right, now we're gonna go to the other games that they have boxes and there's games in it, but like I said already, that none of them have manuals, unfortunately. Um, they might have like a map or something. Like for example, the first one is X-Men for Sega Genesis. Now this game was uh, decent, wasn't the best X-Men game, but it wasn't too bad either. I prefer the X-Men on the Super Nintendo. I thought that was a better game even though that was pretty hard. It was still a better looking game. Um, as you can see, it has a game in here and it has like a poster that came with it. This, like the, the, it's like a poster that came with X-Men, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, besides that, I mean, this game, I don't know, it, it, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, the game. I just felt like the Super Nintendo did, did it better, so that's just my opinion on that. Let me know what you guys feel about that. So, uh, X-Men on Sega Genesis. Alright, try to move along a little bit quicker. Now I got Mortal Kombat 2. Now, I already had like Mortal Kombat, the first one complete. I had Mortal Kombat 
three, the, the game and manual, but now with the box that I just got, now that's complete. So it was Mortal Kombat 2, I needed the complete. So he, I believe he only gave me, uh, he gave me a game, but the game he had looked horrible, so I switched it out because I think the ma the label was ripped up, so I switched it out on my game, the one that's like perfect condition. And I, you know, plus I have two manuals now and a poster and everything. So this is complete, which is cool. I wanted to finish off all the Mortal Kombat games complete and everything for the Genesis, which I did. So that's good. Uh, well, it's not too much to say about this. I think this is the best Mortal Kombat 2. I only feel that the Super Nintendo version is better than Sega Genesis. I just feel that overall Mortal Kombat 2 is the best Mortal Kombat for consoles, at least. That's just my opinion, so... Alright, now the next one, I already had Sonic 2, the head, uh, Sonic 2, wow. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Like, I already had this game. The only thing is, I did not have the Mega Drive version, so I thought it was pretty cool since he had it in the collection. I'm like, oh, why not? You know, I already have Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but, you know, for people who don't know, Mega Drive is like what they call the European and stuff like that everywhere, but to North America, everyone, you know, is known as Seg uh, Sega Genesis. So, I figured, why not? Might as well get it. It was all part of the bundle anyway. Either way, I was going to get it, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to lie to you. This one I'm pretty, pretty excited about. And uh, I, I've been looking for this game forever. I was really excited to get this game, to be honest with you. And the game is IndyCar. <laughs> no. Actually, I was not excited to get this game, but it does come in the box and it has a game in there. So I guess... It's not that bad of a game, but I don't know, man. I, I was never a fan of games like this. I, I just, it used to get me upset. There's nothing worse than like a realistic driving game on a console that just couldn't play. Like, it, it, I don't know. It, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like games like this, because back then I used to get so pissed off that it wasn't like a arcade style gameplay. Like I, I did not like racing that was not arcade style. So that was just my opinion right there. Oh, by the way, the, the Sonic the Hedgehog 2, once again, does have the game, but just didn't have the manual, so. Alright, so moving along, man, we're doing pretty well right now. Alright, uh, the next game is Shinobi 3. Now, I was very excited to get the box for this game, you know, and I have the manual for the game. The only problem is, as you can see right here, the only problem is the game itself. Once again, my friend managed to autograph his name on the game when he was younger um, also it's just in bad shape I really don't like the way it looks or anything like that but I know Shinobi 3 isn't the hardest game to get so I'm gonna try to see if I can find that game and then complete it because then it'll complete the set but I really did like Shinobi 3 so I actually think Shinobi 3 was the best one I didn't really like Shinobi 1 or 2 that much but I thought Shinobi 3 was the best, but once again, if you disagree with that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Alright, now moving along, that's that completes everything, every game that I got from, and I, I'm almost positive, I looked to make sure that's every game I got, so that's completely done there. All we have left is five different consoles I'm going to show you next week, and that completes the whole pickup. Now, if you saw, like it took me that long, like three episodes, maybe four episodes to explain or to show all the things I got from him, and it's still gonna take another fifth episode. So it's it's pretty insane that I got all that in one bundle, which is pretty cool, but insane at the same time. So, all right, moving along. All right, uh, the next game is, I picked this one up in trades, both of these games, from leaptrade.com. Now, we'll do the first one is Super Spike V-Ball. This game is so much fun. I used to play this a lot when I was younger. Like, I used to, to love it because like it was the only volleyball game that I thought was fun. Like, I thought back then that this I was like, oh, I want to play volleyball. This is awesome. You know, this game made it look like it was awesome. It's a two-on-two -two volleyball, and what it is, it's just a normal. You set up the your your teammate. They set you back up, and then you spike it. And it's pretty cool because if you're playing on defense or something like that. When you're trying to stop the ball, you could jump up and time it and block them from spiking the ball. So it's a lot of fun. If you guys have never played this game, definitely get it. I think it's a lot of fun. Definitely. I definitely suggest this game because like you sit there and just play for a while. And it's good to play other people too. So, Alright. 
The next game is a pretty fun game. Like, I, I enjoyed it. I know some people don't enjoy this style of gameplay, but Duke Nukem 64. Now, Duke Nukem Forever, <laughs> it was horrible. Like, but back in the day, like, this gameplay was fun. You know, the stuff that he said, the things that happened in the game was a lot of fun, you know? And I think that that's what we're, we're missing in like the versions today like it, it wasn't just I don't know it, it, they're trying to do graphics but yet they did graphics horribly so like they didn't focus on the fun factor and uh, back then that's all it was for Duke Nukem you know it's just funny lines you know there's some some uh, big action scenes and that was it and you had fun so I actually like Duke Nukem and it's pretty cool to get it back in my collection the only thing is of course you know I'll be looking for a uh, box and manual later on but right now it's nothing wrong with just the cart the loose cart so Okay, so now we're going to move on to uh, Super Nintendo games again. Now, since we already showed you Mortal Kombat 2 before, this is the first Mortal Kombat, and it is on a Super Nintendo, and as you can see, it's a really, really good shape. All this stuff I got in one garage, so these three games, so keep in mind, so that's that. Now, Mortal Kombat was pretty good. I, I enjoyed, like I said before, I enjoyed Mortal Kombat 2. I think Mortal Kombat 2 was the best game for both the Super NES and Sega. But once it went to the PlayStation, I thought Mortal Kombat 3 was the best. But, yeah. So, Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> Alright, the next one. George Foreman. KO. Now, this game... This George Foreman boxing, I don't know. I'm iffy about it. You know, I really didn't think it was a great game. I, I didn't, you know, I don't think it's a great boxing game. Maybe because I used to play Punch Out so much that, like, when it came to games like this, I was like, oh, they're n they're nothing compared to Punch Out or even Super Punch Out. And I just felt like it was it was something I skipped over a lot. So like, I really didn't give this game a, a chance, and I really don't know that much about it today because I don't remember. It. So I'll probably look back in the video and stuff like that and remember, oh yeah, I used to play that and stuff like that. But right now, as far as I remember, it was all about Punch-Out or Super Punch-Out. So I never really gave this game a chance. So if you guys played this game, if you liked it, let me know in the comments down below. But I always prefer that, that Punch-Out, that Mike Tyson Punch-Out, sorry, not regular Punch-Out, and uh, Super Punch-Out. So. Alright, so... This one is a game that I have no clue about. Literally have no clue about. I never heard of it, never played it before. And the game is called Gradius or Gradius 3. So I think it's Gradius, maybe Gradius. I don't know. We'll go Gradius 3. Um, I have no clue what this game's about. You know, I'll probably, this is going to be definitely one of those games I'm going to add to my list so I can live stream on Twitch, which, by the way, is coming soon. Um, I'm not too sure like what the game's about at all so I really can't describe it I mean I will still show the video but the problem is I don't know what the game's about yeah so we'll, we'll figure it out right um, and that's it I wish I knew what it was more about but anyway for all three of these games at a garage sale I got them all for about six dollars the guy gave it to me for so I thought it's it fair I mean it wasn't that bad they're all in great shape anyway so I said whatever, you know, I, I got lucky for a lot of other things, so I might as well pay the $6. I didn't even, like, try and negotiate, I just took, you know, paid them $6 and that was it. Alright, so, one last game to go over, and then we're all done with this video, which is pretty cool because I went over a lot of things very quickly. Now, it's kind of weird, because last week I, I talked about this one game, which is Super Mario All-Stars. And I talked about, oh, I, I got excited when my friend gave me that game, because I thought it was the one with... Uh, Super Mario World and I'm like and then I realized it wasn't and I was like ah oh, well I guess it's it's okay still and I was talking to you if you ever find it somewhere the one with Super Mario World you know try to pick it up and it so happens that I went to I actually went to Goodwill this week and in the Goodwill like they had Super Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World and it's just funny because that's what I was just talking about like last week last episode and all of a sudden I find it like two days later which is pretty cool so this is the game right here the only problem is it does have a little wear right on the edge 
but besides that everything else is in perfect condition the pins everything's good so I'm happy that I found it you know I only got this for $4.99 at Goodwill so uh, to me that's great I saw it there and you know I had to have it as soon as I saw it um, yeah so like I, I told you guys if you ever see it for $10 or less pick it up and so I had to follow my own saying you know I saw it for $10 or less without a doubt I had to pick it up but I'm excited to finally have it in my collection it's something that you know they, they jack up the price on eBay for no reason I, I don't feel like paying $35 $40 sometimes $50 for this version and yeah and I, and the funny thing is the funny story behind this this was marked at $50 so it was marked at $49.99 to be exact I went there and I asked them like why is it $49.99 the lady showed that, oh, she, it looked like it was with the Super Nintendo and it came together as a bundle for $50, which doesn't make sense because the Super Nintendo had its own $49.99 tag on it. So when she asked the manager or something, they, they looked it up, they were like, alright, we'll just we'll give it to you for $5. Maybe that's what it meant. They thought maybe the, the decimal point was in the wrong place, so it was $4.99. but. I have no idea what the original price was. I, I'm thinking that they probably had it in the 40s, priced in the 40 range. So I'm thinking I got away with something pretty good, but whatever. It's a goodwill place, so I mean, you know, I, they shouldn't be jacking up the price like that anyway. But I heard goodwills do that now, just let you know. Goodwills will jack up the price of video games now. They try to look at eBay prices, so be careful with that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I know I went over a lot of stuff. Uh, next week I'm going to go over some consoles that I got. Uh, give you a little brief story or the history of the consoles. Like my memories of the consoles and stuff like that. And plus I got a bunch of other games I got to show you that I did pick up this week. And also whatever games I pick up next week. But uh, the season's almost over though. You know, garage and yard sale season's almost over. I'm going to focus more on like thrift stores and different things, you know, Craigslist and eBay shopping, which I hate eBay shopping, that's why I'm holding off for both Craigslist and eBay shopping, so, um, yeah, so there's plenty of footage to come on this channel, so if you like pickups, game pickups or anything, definitely subscribe to my channel, if you uh, like the video, hit that like button, and that's pretty much it, so this is Hector from Not So Nerdy, hope you enjoyed everything, see you guys next week. Don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps me out. Also, if you're new to this channel, subscribe so you can see new videos from me every week. And remember, it's okay to be not too nerdy.